Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. Voyager 1, NASA's farthest and longest-lived spacecraft, has once again defied expectations. After nearly five decades drifting through the blackness of space, the spacecraft has made a startling discovery. One that many scientists thought was not only unlikely but practically impossible. It has detected a phenomenon in interstellar space that suggests the boundaries of our solar system and the medium that lies beyond are far more dynamic and interactive than previously believed. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. For years, Voyager 1 has been coasting through the interstellar medium, the vast expanse of space between star systems filled with charged particles, cosmic rays, and the whisper of ancient starlight. It passed through the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind gives way to the colder, more distant interstellar winds, back in 2012. At that moment, humanity truly had a presence in interstellar space. Since then, the data it has sent back has painted a picture of a cold, thin plasma environment, relatively calm and stable. But this most recent transmission shattered that perception. Despite its antiquated systems and the fading strength of its signals, Voyager 1 detected something truly extraordinary. A persistent and unexplained low-frequency hum, originating from beyond the heliopause. This faint but continuous signal doesn't align with any known celestial sources or interstellar phenomena. It appears to represent an entirely new kind of interaction between interstellar plasma and galactic forces. It's not a simple burst or flare, nor is it the echo of a cosmic event billions of light years away. It is something more local, more intimate, yet utterly unfamiliar. This low frequency hum was not detected once and dismissed. Voyager 1 has been recording this consistent plasma wave signal for over three years now, with data slowly trickling back to Earth due to the immense distance. The hum is steady, unwavering, and has persisted across massive swaths of space, which suggests that this isn't an isolated incident or a technical malfunction. It hints at a new layer of complexity in the interstellar medium, one that challenges long-standing assumptions in astrophysics. For decades, the interstellar medium was considered a relatively quiet, unchanging space. It was thought to be composed mostly of sparse hydrogen gas, dust, and scattered magnetic fields. But Voyager 1's discovery paints a different picture. This impossible hum suggests that the interstellar medium is more alive, more electric, than previously thought. It indicates that the space beyond the heliopause isn't simply passive and empty, but contains active processes we are only just beginning to understand. The implications of this are profound. First and foremost, this challenges existing models of cosmic ray propagation. If the interstellar medium is not as passive as believed, then our understanding of how high-energy particles move through space may be flawed. Cosmic rays are believed to originate from distant sources like supernovae and active galactic nuclei, and their journey to Earth is influenced by the environment they traverse. If that environment is more active, it means our models may underestimate or misrepresent how those particles interact with the interstellar medium and, by extension, with the solar system. Furthermore, the detection of persistent plasma oscillations could indicate large-scale wave interactions taking place in interstellar space. This may point to processes akin to those found in more familiar plasma environments, such as Earth's magnetosphere or the solar corona. If similar dynamics are at play across vast interstellar distances, it could open the door to a unified theory of plasma behavior across different cosmic scales. This would bridge a gap between heliophysics and astrophysics, two fields that have long operated with distinct, though occasionally overlapping models. Another consequence of Voyager 1's finding is its potential to refine our understanding of the heliosphere, the vast bubble-like region of space dominated by the solar wind. The traditional view of the heliosphere ending abruptly at the heliopause is now being questioned. The hum might suggest that the transition from solar-dominated space to interstellar space is not as clean-cut as once thought. Instead, there may be a complex, turbulent mixing layer where particles and waves interact in ways that blur the boundaries of the solar system. This would mean that the heliopause is less of a wall and more of a membrane, flexible, permeable, and vibrational. This new reality adds layers of intrigue to our search for life beyond Earth. If interstellar space is more active and dynamic, 
It may have implications for the interstellar delivery of complex organic molecules, the stability of planetary environments and nearby star systems, or even the long-range communication of potential extraterrestrial civilizations. The medium through which any such signals would travel is no longer a dead zone of quiet, but a humming living sea that could modulate, distort, or amplify them. The technological feat itself cannot be overlooked. That Voyager 1, a spacecraft launched in 1977 with less computing power than a modern calculator, is still capable of making groundbreaking discoveries nearly 15 billion miles from Earth is a testament to human engineering and vision. Every signal it sends back takes over 22 hours to reach us. And yet those signals continue to rewrite what we thought we knew about space that such a seemingly fragile machine could peer into the cosmic unknown and reveal something so pivotal is nothing short of miraculous. Moreover, the discovery reignites discussions about what else might be out there in interstellar space. Voyager 1 was never designed to explore these regions in detail. It was an emissary sent out to deliver a snapshot of humanity to the stars. Its scientific instruments were not tailored for deep interstellar exploration, and yet they have captured something entirely new. This raises a tantalizing possibility. If Voyager 1 can detect these phenomena with limited tools, what could a future mission, purpose-built for interstellar study, uncover? There are already proposals for such missions. Interstellar probes with next-generation propulsion systems, equipped with highly sensitive instruments, could be launched in the coming decades. These missions would seek to map the interstellar medium in detail, understand the plasma waves Voyager 1 has encountered, and perhaps even sample interstellar particles directly. The groundwork laid by Voyager 1 makes a compelling case for such endeavors. It has shown us that interstellar space is not a void, it is a frontier, teeming with mystery. The hum also hints at the potential for unknown forms of energy transmission across space. Could these plasma waves act as conduits for energy exchange on galactic scales? Could they influence star formation? magnetic field alignment, or even the behavior of dark matter? These are speculative questions, but they are grounded in the very real data Voyager 1 has sent back. As new instruments analyze these signals in detail, they may reveal harmonics, modulations, or interactions that weren't apparent in earlier models of the cosmos. What makes this discovery even more compelling is its temporal dimension. The signal has been consistent over years of travel and observation, that kind of stability in space is rare and deeply meaningful. It implies a large-scale, perhaps even galactic-level structure or mechanism that sustains it. There's a growing sense among physicists that the hum may be linked to the larger magnetic scaffolding of the Milky Way, an unseen architecture of fields and waves that organize and influence the behavior of matter and energy across thousands of light years. The newly observed interstellar hum may also have consequences for how we understand the solar system's motion through the galaxy. As the sun orbits the galactic center, it plows through interstellar clouds, some denser than others. The plasma oscillations could be a result of this interaction, or perhaps a precursor to entering a different region of interstellar space. If Voyager 1 is picking up the faint vibrations of the cosmic ocean into which we are sailing, then it is acting like a ship's keel, feeling the first swells of distant shores. This would mark a new kind of cosmic navigation, using plasma waves and interstellar signals to understand our galactic trajectory. If the hum changes over time or becomes more intense, it might indicate the presence of new regions, each with their own electromagnetic character. That would transform our understanding of space travel. It would mean that navigating through the galaxy is not just about stars and gravity, but also about riding the currents of the interstellar medium. On a more philosophical level, this discovery touches on the very human desire to listen to the universe. Voyager 1 was sent out not just to observe, but to hear, to pick up signals from the unknown. What it has found is not a shout or a burst, but a whisper, an ongoing song of the cosmos. That hum could be the natural background music of the galaxy, or it could be something far stranger something that echoes the rhythms of cosmic structures we do not yet understand. The discovery is also deeply symbolic. At the farthest edge of human reach, our oldest spacecraft is sending back data that is not old or outdated but revolutionary. It reminds us that space is not conquered through brute force or flashy technology, but through patience, persistence, and humility. 
Voyager 1, drifting silently in the darkness, has found something no other mission could have hoped to find. It didn't go looking for this signal, it simply listened. And in listening, it changed everything. There is an emotional gravity to this event that is hard to overstate. Voyager 1 carries with it the golden record, a message to the stars, a snapshot of Earth's cultures, languages, and music. Now it brings back a message of its own. The universe has replied, not in language but in rhythm, in resonance. The hum it has uncovered is perhaps the beginning of a deeper dialogue between humanity and the cosmos. Even now, scientists are poring over the data, trying to decode its secrets. It may take years, even decades to fully understand what Voyager 1 has found. But the journey has already begun. It has given us reason to rethink not just the structure of space, but our place within it. We once believed the interstellar medium to be a silent gulf. Now thanks to Voyager 1, we know it sings. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's impossible discovery after decades? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.